November 16th, 2023. I turned 27 years old in a foreign country with no family, no friends, and no celebrations. So in order to make myself feel better, that weekend I decided to spend 24 hours in VR, playing various games and spending time with my online friends who themselves live thousands of miles away. Getting in VR always starts the same. Checking who's online, joining people and seeing what's up. But there's this weird thing in VR called mirror dwelling. Mirror dwelling really is the VR equivalent of bank standing in RuneScape. You get nothing done. You know you're wasting time, but you do it anyways. I feel like mirror dwelling is for people who really want to look at their avatars. But most of my avatars aren't really... Yeah. So the first hour, I played this game. All of my friends seem to be addicted to this game. Fruit is love, fruit is life. So I played it for an hour before hour two came and it was time for golf. Which I did with a very special guest. Sorry, I don't think of VR chat and think golf. I think of drugs and VR chat changed me into a woman and you should be too. You get a golf bonus? Uh, I used to do work with the PGA and stuff, but I hate golf. That bodes well. You know, uh, I used to work at a mini golf course. When I, that makes me feel like you're gonna kick my ass. You know, there's something about Boneless when he's off script that's uh, unlike. Well, I'm currently faded than a bitch, so I mean. What you'd expect. This is like the, the prime dating world. Um, this is a dating world? Yeah, man. That's news to me. All right, sickle mo bamba. If you miss, uh, you have to eat a chili pepper. Okay, I'm cool with that. Oh. And I'm a, a god at golf. I really am. You bring your VR chat e-girl dates to this world so you can just uh oh, hell, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose like five strokes on this. I'm gonna have a fing stroke. Jesus Christ. Never lost once. Not once. Ooh, I'm gonna be here for a minute. This is gonna be brutal. I believe in you. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually lost tracking that time. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot like this. I'm gonna. You know when, when Boneless helped me swing there. I kind of hate to admit this, but. Uh... All right, yep. Good hips. Good hips. Oh, thank you. Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that with anyone before. Look at that. Look at we were Yo. Uh, that was all you, honestly. It was kinda kinda nice. It's a shame he's shit at golf though. So what is it about Fulcrum that you like so much? Um, he's just really nice. He's like a nice dude. If you watch your videos long enough, he's just like really super I've never seen a Fulcrum video before. But then he'll say stupid shit and like bother the hell out of people. It's like out of nowhere. When I hung out with uh, him before too, he he made me sit through a video where he shits himself in a Home Depot. What did you think about Fulcrum shitting himself? Uh, that was my actual. That was the first time we ever uh, spoke. You know, being one. a saucy white boy in reality is really hard. I learned a lot today. The driving ranges are cool. I've been to one. I hit I hit a ball twice. I couldn't hit it other than that. I I really did. You gotta You gotta be harder than that. Alright, so I, I need you're a bit too soft school. right now. <laughs> I had fun regardless though. You got That's 61. Right. What does that make you? A putt putt champion. Yo. Dude, you're you're killing it. You're a champ. Good job, champ. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Ending the golf session, it was time for dinner. I heated up garbage I found at the convenience store, which I ate while watching Cody Co at my desk. And then... Disaster. Genuinely not a joke, and the reason for this video taking so long to make, my power supply broke, which sent a surge to my GPU, frying it. So at four hours in and 20 left to go, I had to put everything on break and get new PC parts.
and we're in. Hey, 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 you know the plan? Oh, hey, 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 my name's Fox, I'm a professional e power. I, I do recall the plan. Yeah. I remember the plan actually quite well. Well, look who's coming over here. I just got here. Hey, I'm Nick, and I'm the current CEO of eBay. All right, guys, so we just explored a bunch of 3D scanned worlds. Uh, do you remember what happened? Yeah. I remember. <laughs> hey, you have nipples Sorry. on this guy. Oh. We, you have. Do I? Oh, Sorry, come on, man. He's sensitive about out. that. Started off relatively tame and normal. You know, like a weird little minion on a, in a grocery store aisle or something. Oh my god, there's a hole in the back of his head. Hey, don't oh, look at his hole. Someone took a shotgun to this That's minion. The uh, 3D art gallery, it was a beautiful experience. Everything in that world was super f***ing ugly. It is good, dude. What do you think? It doesn't bring you back. Um, I really loved the uh, the snowman playing the music. Bro. No, oh don't my god. Bro, oh, come on. Stop. Look at his melting oh ass god. crack. Yeah. You think it's I can hard. ride all of these? Yeah, sure. You could. Scale yourself up a little bit. Jesus. Okay, that works. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> the room was creepy, though. It, It was. Hey, watch where you're standing. You're standing on the goldfish. Uh, oh, shit. That's my endless What's supply. Two packs of goldfish. <laughs> Yo. I don't think I've ever experienced rooms to that degree of, let's say, decoration. Weird, this is this a room. dead rat? Oh, look at that. that? It's got, like, He's plugged in. Alive. He's recharging. <laughs> they plugged him in. recharging. <laughs> <laughs> they plugged him into the wall to recharge. The bedroom was... It was, it was it was horrifying, but also really interesting. I, I love being there, to be honest. So we went to a world I made. Oh, you really did upload yeah, this Yeah, no, place. just ignore this update's plan soon. Uh, oh, thing. man. It's uh, not really... <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, wait, I've been waiting for these updates for a while, man. How long has it been? I think he's uh, one of the best world creators out there right now. He's actually... I heard he's working on some updates, actually, for that world. Dude, did you see... Did you see the sign over here? Oh, this is already one of my favorite sweet. worlds, but apparently, yeah, apparently there's updates coming soon. Oh, I'm ready for this. Literally like I'm three, excited. Like three years of updates. And I scanned my room in like 2020. Welcome to my oh, room. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, PlayStation. You know, I think this Dara guy's room really brings back some nostalgia. It was cool, honestly. It was cool actually just like actually seeing the room that you lived in. So this is my melted computer. Oh, yeah. Look, it's a bird right here. It's just like the beak and the oh, eye. Oh, I see that. I was heavily disappointed that my room was not visited. I wasn't one to miss out. It was only Nick. So that's kind of his loss. Like, L him. After a long exploration session with my friends and a bathroom break, I was ready for some phasmophobia. But to be honest, regular phasmo is kind of boring. So I planned to do something special. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Spinning the wheel will get a scenario, which will then give us a set of rules that we have to obey for the mission. Wheelchair means two randomly selected players cannot move without someone pushing them. Uh, Who wants to be my caretaker? Yeah, I'll, I'll push Fox for, for a while. I'm going to put a flashlight on my belt. All right, All right Fox, five, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing you. Let's, let's go. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Sunny boy. Thank you. Now walk forward, and when we get to the door, we open. Yes, let's go. I can't open it. <laughs> you gotta open oh, it fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a caretaker. Oh, my gosh. He just slammed his patient oh, in the door. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, isn't that, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> So oh, good are. lighting. Yeah, Jermon, there's no wheelchair access for the stairs. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to stay down here. Okay, so I'm terrified. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go up there. <laughs> Sorry, I, I dropped my glow here, I'll, stick. Here, I'll push Can you, you next to Get that for me. Can, oh, can you oh, get shit. that for me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let it go in three, two, one. Yep. 
Jamon, you wanna you wanna check upstairs with me while oh, we leave these guys here? Me. Yeah, you can do something. Yeah. Let me get here. Yeah, who opened that door? I, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, it's kids. Ooh, no, I don't like that. That's oh, there's a voodoo doll there. I got a, I got a toy for you guys no. to play with. Oh, oh sweet. Toy, that entertainment. Oh. When you guys are bored. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'm I'm gonna move you guys over to this table here, so you get you can you can talk at the table. There you go. Perfect. Like like eyes looking at me over there. It's yeah, I kept on thinking that. Yeah, we got a couple angles. Perfect, perfect. Hey guys. So, uh, how's the dinner going? It's going okay so oh, far. It's yeah? going great. Is there a right, we got one floor. What do you mean? That's not the heart? Or is it the heart? No, I, I mean, the heart already was in me. I think you got the heart in already. Wait, you got the heart? Nice. If you got the heart, that's... Did you do it? That's terrifying. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, good God! Oh, what happened to him? Uh he he was having a seizure. I, I think. Here, I'm I'm gonna push you out. We uh, we'll get. We'll get someone to take care of that later. Uh, let's let's go back that to the van, good, eh? Guys, what's up? <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Uh, right, there was an up. accident, I think. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We left them. Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Dara, Dara, we're terrible. Are you okay? We're. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Dude, we're, we're so fine. We're terrible caretakers. It's about at this point that I was all gamed out. I technically hadn't been in VR for 11 hours straight because I reset at hour four, but with about seven hours in, you start to feel really uncomfortable. The full body tracking is incredibly annoying and I should have taken it off while playing Phasmo, but I forgot. And worst of all is the faceplate. It gets so greasy. So I made some tea and got cozy for a movie alone before bed. That's a weird movie. After a full day of VR, it was time for sleep, which I attempted to do with the headset on, but when you're tired and uncomfortable, it gets to be too much. And at some point in the night, you'll throw it off your head. Getting up, taking a shower, making some coffee, I was ready to hop back into VR and hang out with some friends more. And that started with a world by Jar. You see, Jar is one of the most prolific world creators. In my mind, only ranked below Squiggly Line Sam. Hello? He's made all kinds of game worlds, and most recently is one called Audience Anarchy, possibly his best yet. In it, you become a star of the stage, as the audience makes a Mad Lib script that you then perform in front of them. Welcome to Would You Do It? The only game show that asks you the simple question, Would You Do It? Are you ready to play? The categories are Ancient Greek Mythology and Dill Contestant number one. Let's start with you because I like the way you look in a non creepy way. Let's go with Dill. When browsing Dill.com for juicy pics of Dill, you notice a strange advertisement. It says, click there to meet hot gamer in your area. 
Would you do it? Heck yeah, I've done it before and I'll do it again. And trust me, those internet gamers are the craziest gamers you'll ever meet. It's a good time. Correct! You get one wholesome point. Here's your next deal related question. You're riding a unicycle when all of a sudden it's headed towards a group of innocent dill There's no time to warn those dill of imminent danger. But you can turn the unicycle and crash it into a bunch of gamer instead. There's no time. Would you do it? Mm. Oh man, I really love gamer. This is a hard decision. I would do it without a doubt. It's quite fun. I could do it for hours. And I did. Hour 22 was the final stretch. I'd been in VR so much that at this point, I was starting to disassociate. And to end it all off, I organized a disc tournament with my friends. Hello, and welcome to the not official, just for the fun of it, uh, VR disc tournament. So the game works like this. You throw discs. You it block discs. You and if you get hit by a disc, you you die. So first to three points moves on, and the winner gets a fabulous grand prize of me complimenting them. That's that's a rarity. There's a wide variety of contestants today, and they all have one thing in common. Hi, my name is Jam. I just woke up. Hello. Hey guys. I'm gonna win. I I know them. That's. For this. I'm gonna clean house. Take it home, baby. I'm about to destroy everybody. I'm sure I'll do pretty good. So I got this. That's that's good enough for me. So faded than a hole, faded than a hole, faded than a hole, faded than a hole. It's all gonna be happening down there. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fight down there. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> but there's, uh, you know, there's, there's something missing uh, there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it, oh yeah. Fun for the viewer. <laughs> That's, there's nothing happening. So let's talk about what it, how's it, how's it been up until now? What's it, what's it been like to be in, in VR for 24 hours? I've had a blast. You might've noticed how I've not been too serious about keeping the headset on my face. That, that's that's because this isn't a challenge. This was meant to get me out of depression, which it did. It it did do that until I had to edit it. Uh, they, they're done. They're, is that to say much? I don't... Keeping a headset on for 24 hours is probably the stupidest thing you could ever do, especially if you have uh, an index like me, which is basically a toaster, uh, but the bread is your eyeballs being burned out of their sockets. In 2020, when I first got VR, I had many days during COVID where I would spend all day in VR, like seven hour, eight hour sessions, and it was fun. But you came across a lot of the same problems that I encountered during this uh, experience. Dizziness, losing where you are in the room and bumping into stuff, staying up too late and then not being able to sleep because uh, you had two burning suns shining into your eyeballs until 2 a.m. Greasy faceplate leading to breakouts on your skin. And then worst of all, dehydration. It's important to keep track of how long you've been in VR and what time it is, because it goes by so fast. And then you forget to drink water, which, which makes all those other problems I said worse. But this time I tried not to have that happen. And it kind of worked. Hi, Nuts. What? Oh, my God. oh, is it? Is it the last game already? What the? What? See? I could see through the future. I knew I was gonna just destroy everything.
Hey, yo, what's up? Uh, this is where I would put a thank you to all my patrons, but there are no patrons. So instead, I'll just thank everyone who was on this video. So thanks, guys. Oh. <laughs>